our topic for today is about problems involving quadratic inequalities. We will try to apply inequalities, quadratic inequalities in real life situations, in solving real life situations. That's why we have this as our objectives. Solve problems involving quadratic inequalities. Of course, you will apply the concepts that you've learned about quadratic inequalities. So let's start and let's have our first problem. This is our problem. Anna needs to make a garden plot which has an area less than 18 feet squared. The length should be 3 feet longer than the width. What are the possible dimensions of the box? Let's analyze and understand the problem. Okay, so as you can see here, si Anna nga daw ay gagawa ng kanyang garden plot. Ayan, ano ba yung garden plot? Ito yun. <clears throat> Ayan. So, diba dyan tayo nagtatanim? Okay. And then, sabi dito sa problem natin, yung kanyang garden plot o area ng kanyang garden plot is less than 18 feet squared. Aside from it, yung kanyang length ay 3 feet longer than the width. Ibig sabihin, yung mas mahaba sa width ng tatlong feet, yung length compare sa width. At ang kailangan nating alamin or kailangan nating ma-solve dito ay yung dimensions ng garden plot o nung box nga natin. Okay, again, hahanapin natin yung sukat, possible dimensions or possible length and width of our box. And remember the given. Ang given natin dito is yun nga, yung area less than 18 feet squared, tapos yung length na 3 feet longer than the width. After understanding the problem, let's write a variable or use a variable to represent the given. We have W for our width. For the length, we have W plus 3. Why is it W plus 3? Saan to nakuha, ma'am? Bakit may plus 3 na dyan? Okay. Diba sabi ko nga sa problem natin, yung length ay mahaba ng tatlo sa width. 3 feet sa width. Kaya kung ang width ay W, ang length ay W plus 3. Okay. And of course, the area given is less than 18 feet squared. Okay. A means the area. Now that we all have the given, let us now recall the formula in finding the area of the rectangle. In finding the area of a rectangle, we have length times width. And using this formula, let's substitute the width and length. Length is W plus 3. And we will multiply the length to our width. Our width here is W. And instead of writing equal, okay, instead of writing down equal, we will use less than. Okay, according to the problem, the area is less than 18 feet squared. That's why we will use less than 18. And as you can see, this is now a quadratic inequality. We can simplify this inequality. Okay, we will apply the Distributive property will distribute W to each term of our binomial. So W times W, then 3 times W is less than 18. So what is the answer? W times W? The answer is W squared. And 3 times W, we have 3 W. Then copy less than 18. Why do we have negative 18 to both sides? We add negative 18 to both sides to make this 0. To make the other side 0. And we have now the final inequality. W squared plus 3W minus 18 is less than 0. This is now our quadratic inequality. And since we have this, we can now solve for the possible values of x. Sa quadratic inequality then, po pwedeng marami tayong solution. Always remember that. 
Okay, this is our quadratic inequality. And the first thing to do is to express the quadratic inequality as a quadratic equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Okay, we will change the inequality symbol into equal sign. Just copy the given, but don't copy the inequality. Instead, put an equal sign there. Next, find the roots of the given equation. We will apply factoring. Think of a factors of negative 18. Okay, factors of negative 18, when added, the answer is 3. And of course, don't forget to factor out w squared. And we have this factors. We'll put two parentheses and the factor of w squared is w and w. The factors of negative 18, that the sum is positive 3, that is 6, and negative 3. Let us check. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. 6 plus negative 3, positive 3. Let's equate each factor to 0. W plus 6 is equal to 0, and W minus 3 is equal to 0. And we can solve now for the values of W. W is equal to negative 6, and uh, W is equal to 3. These are the roots of our equation. After getting the roots of our equation, Let's locate the numbers found in step 1 on a number line. The number line will be divided into three regions. Let's make a number line and locate the numbers. Yung nakuha natin kanina na roots, yun yung negative 6 and 3, ilagay natin sa number line. At we use open circle. Bakit open circle? We use open circle for negative 6 and 3 because they are not part of the solution set. Remember, this is less than. Okay? Pag less than, hindi shaded yung ating circle. Open siya or hindi nakashade. Pero kung ang nakalagay dyan ay less than or equal to, yon dun tayo magsha-shade. At ito na nga yung tatlong regions ng ating number line. Okay, tatlo yan. Ang gagawin natin is to choose one number from each region as our test point. Kukuha tayo ng mga test point natin sa kada region. For this region, we have negative 7. Kasi ang sakop niyan, yung mga numbers simula negative 7, negative 8, and so on. So, pwede kayong kumuha kahit negative 8, negative 9. Pero kunin natin negative 7. Dito naman, Ang kukunin natin is 0. So, number sa pagitan ng negative 6 and 3, para mas madaling isolve, kunin natin yung 0. So, this is our test point for the second region. For the third region, ang kunin natin is 4. Kasi ang sakop nitong third region natin is simula 4 pataas. 4 pataas. Hindi kasali ang 3. Okay. Now that we have these test points, we will substitute the test point to the original inequality. If it holds true, then the region belongs to the solution set. Otherwise, it is not part of the solution set. Yung mga test points na kinuha natin kanina ay gagamitin natin dun sa ating original inequality. Kaya kopyahin muna natin yung original inequality natin. Kapag true, ibig sabihin yung region na yun ay kasama sa ating solution set. Unang test point is negative 7. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na given quadratic inequality. W squared plus 3W minus 18 is less than 0. Palitan natin yung W ng negative 7. That's why we have this. Negative 7 squared is 49. Then, 3 times negative 7, negative 21 minus 18 is less than 0. Simplify, we have 10 is less than 0. Is it true or false? Is 10 is less than to 0? Okay, this is false. Tama, false. Hindi nga naman, ba? So, ibig sabihin, kung false to, yung region na yun, yung first region natin, ay hindi natin isasali sa ating solution set. Subukan naman natin yung pangalawang test point natin, 0. 
Palitan natin yung W natin ng 0. That's why we have 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 18 is less than 0. Ayan, obviously, madali lang to solve. Ang answer is negative 18 less than to 0. True or false? Mababa ba ang negative 18 to 0? Okay, this is true. Yung pangalawang test point natin is true, ang lumabas. Next, subukan naman natin yung pangatlong region. Ang kinuha natin as our test point for the third region is 4. W is equal to 4. Lahat ng W, palitan natin ng 4. And then, simplify. 4 squared plus 3 times 4 minus 18 is less than 0. 4 squared is equal to 16. Then, 3 times 4, 12, minus 18 is less than to 0. And the answer is, 10 is less than to 0. Is it true or false? What's your answer? Hmm, this is false. 10 is not less than to 0. Kaya yung pangatlong test point natin ay false ang lumabas. Kaya anong ibig sabihin nito? Isa lang ang lumabas na true, di ba? We can see from the test point that zero gives a true. Meaning to say, yun lang ang kasale or part ng ating solution set. So yung first region natin, false. Yung lumabas dito sa gitna or pangalawang region natin. Sa pagitan ng negative 6 and 3, true. Sa third region naman, false then ang lumabas. Okay. Now, what is our solution set of this quadratic inequality? Sabi kanina kung saan lang nag-true. Kaya, ang true is yung nandito sa second region. Ibig sabihin, ang solution set lang natin ay yung mga numbers sa pagitan ng negative 6 at 3. Hindi kasali syempre ang negative 6 and 3. Ibig sabihin, magsisimula ka dun sa negative 5 hanggang positive 2. Paano natin isusulat into set notation? Ito yun, W such that W is greater than negative 6 and W is less than 3. Ibig sabihin lang yan, yung W natin ay greater than negative 6 but less than 3. Okay? E dun nga yun, yung mga numbers sa pagitan lamang ng negative 6 and 3. We use a double inequality here sa pagsusulat ng ating solution set. Okay, now we're done solving for the quadratic inequality. Is it now the final answer? Ito na ba yung hinahanap nating length and width ng ating problem? Of course, it is not the end. This is an important note. The solution set is, yun na nga yung x is greater than negative 6 but less than 3. However, we will not include yung solution set natin from negative 6 hanggang 0. Kasi nga, there is no negative and 0 dimensions. In addition, we are all the points between 0 and 3. Ang hinahanap kasi natin ay yung sukat ng dimensions ng uh, garden plot natin. Sa mga measurement na katulad nun, hindi gagamit or hindi tayo gumagamit ng negative. Kaya hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung negative numbers as our measurement. Kaya, ang magiging answer natin dyan is yung mga numbers sa pagitan lang ng 0 and 3. Ibig sabihin, 1 and 2. Ayan, yan lang yung po pwede natin gamitin as our solution or dimension ng ating width. ba? Tignan natin. So, given the found values for W, find the possible values of L, or yung length. Nakuha na nga natin na yung width natin, or yung W natin is either 1 or 2. Pwede po ba ma'am yung 1.5, 2.5? Pwede naman, basta wag lalagpas sa 3. Okay, balikan natin yung mga given natin kanina, ba? Yung W, width, tapos yung length is W plus 3. Kasi nga 3 feet longer yung length. And yung area is 18 feet squared. Kaya kung gagamitin natin yung W is equal to 1, ang magiging width natin is 
1, kasi yun nga yung W. Tapos yung length natin ay 4. Kasi 1 plus 3, 1 plus 3 para sa length is 4. Kung W is equal to 1, kung W is equal to 2, gamitin natin yung 2, ang width natin is 2, tapos ang length natin is 5. Kasi 2 plus 3, 5. So, yan yung mga possible values ng or dimensions ng ating garden plot. Again, pwede nga dito yung 2.5. Pwede yun. Pwede 2.7. For our W, pwede rin namang 0.5, pwede yun. Pero ang pinakita ko na lang is mga whole number para hindi na kayo mahirapan. Pero in, if in case, gusto nyo itry pa yung iba, ibang numbers, basta wag lang 0 and 3. Okay? So, ito na yung mga possible dimensions natin. Yung width ay 1 feet and yung length is 4 feet can be the dimensions of the garden plot or yung width natin pwedeng 2 feet then yung length is 5 feet. Okay, so ganun mag-solve ng word problems. So, hindi natin basta-basta uh, sinusulat lahat ng nakuha natin kanina dun sa solution set. Kailangan i-justify din natin or make sure that reasonable siya. Let's do the checking. Kung ang gagamitin natin is ito, yung W is equal to 1, which is yung width is 1 and length is 4. Length times width is less than 18. True or false ba? 1 times 4 is 4. 4 is less than 18. So true. Ibig sabihin, tama yung ating answer. Kung ang gagamitin naman natin is yung W is equal to 2, ang width ay 2, ang length ay 5. 2 times 5 is 10, less than 18. Is it true? Yes, true. Pero tignan nyo rito, pag tinry natin yung 3, tapos yung width, uh, yung width is 3, tapos yung length is 6. Yan. 18 is less than 218. This is false. Kaya hindi pwedeng gamitin natin yung 3. Kasi pag ginamit natin yung 3, ayan o, false. False na yung lalabas or hindi na siya less than sa 18. Kaya, kailangan lang talagang Matyaga ka and gagamitin mo talaga yung critical thinking mo sa pag-solve ng mga word problems. So, sana may natutunan kayo dun sa video lesson natin for today. At ang next topic natin is quadratic functions. Ano naman kaya ang ibig sabihin ng quadratic functions and anong application niya in real life? Kaya, kita-kita ulit tayo next time!